If you guys want to finish Domination, Clutch Time, Unlimited, Level 40, but you don't have the time, DM RoseNBA on Twitter. His link is in the description, and make sure to tell him I sent you. Yo, what's good everybody, it's CP the Doc, and welcome to my team, No Money Spent, episode 26. In today's video, I'm finishing another trophy case in my team, this time for the Los Angeles Lakers. This 1980 championship trophy is all we need to unlock Pink Diamond James Worthy, who I've heard is still one of the best small forwards in my team. Now, I gotta say, my squad is already pretty good, but I think replacing Gordon Hayward in the starting lineup with James Worthy would make us even better. So in this video, we're gonna get this championship trophy, then we're gonna get Pink Diamond James Worthy, and finally, we're gonna test him out in Unlimited. I'm sure you guys probably already know this, but this 1980 championship trophy is the centerpiece for this collection, and we're less than 500 points away from getting this centerpiece exchange in Unlimited. So it should only take two, maybe three games for us to get this centerpiece. And finally, after we get that centerpiece and James Worthy, we're gonna play two more Unlimited games just to test them out and yeah that's pretty much it i think i've done enough talking so without any further ado let's get these games started you guys sit back relax and enjoy this video it's not over until we get pink diamond james worthy in game one we're playing versus alex caruso and ray allen in the backcourt along with lebron chris bosh and james worthy this guy's got a very good squad and he's won 127 games so that's gonna be tough to beat so not only does this guy never lose but he's got a really good team Team. Either way, we're off to a pretty good start. Drexler is running the floor, and he gets the reverse jam. Good start to this game, but this guy's 127 and 2, so he's not gonna be an easy matchup. Sabonis so has the ball, he's posting up. Good defense, but better offense. We're off to a really good start. Now let's play some defense. He's running plays for Ray Allen. We're right there with Drexler. Ray Allen spins, passes out to Caruso, and so far, we're looking really good on defense. LeBron's trying to spin to the rim, but Gordon Hayward is locking him up. LeBron drop steps and misses the layup. We're off to such a good start. Now Drexler's open for three, and he knocks it down to give us an early nine-point lead. Wow, what a start to this game. We're locking up on defense. Our shots are falling. That's bad defense right there, and he gets the and one, but we're still looking all right. That's just one bad possession. Let's get those points back right here with Gordon Hayward, another three-pointer. Our offense is clicking. This guy's taking bad shots. He misses with James Worthy, and once again, we're running. Let's see who the open man is. It's Russell Westbrook. I should be able to get a dunk right here or a layup. I guess we'll take that too. 14 to six in the first quarter. Let's keep on doing what we're doing. Let's keep on contesting his shots getting stops. Really, all he's trying to do is run, pick, and roll and attack the basket, so we just gotta prevent him from getting to the rim. Right there, we force another miss. Our interior defense so far this game has actually been amazing. Now Sabonis is wide open. From way downtown, we can't miss right now. Our jump shots are falling in a big way. Now we just gotta keep on contesting his shots. Wow, he's already out of here. 127 wins and only two losses, but he's quitting in the first quarter. That's crazy. I saw that guy's record and I was expecting a really good game but that was pretty bad either way we'll take the win we're now less than 300 points away from 6,000 unless we get two super fast quits that should only take two more games so with that being said it's time for game two here we go guys game two we're up against Allen Iverson and Latrell Sprewell in the backcourt, along with Big Z, Iguodala, and Karolinko. That's honestly not a bad team, but I never see anybody using Iverson or Sprewell anymore. So let's see how this guy plays with Iverson and Spree. Nice pass out to Sabonis for the easy mid-range shot. Last game, we shot so well, and we played such good defense too. If we do those exact same things right here, then we should get another win. Westbrook goes baseline, he spins, he shoots the three, and he hits it from downtown. Let's call for that high pick and roll. Westbrook has it again. He's open again from deep, and he hits it. Westbrook's two for two from downtown. I think since Russell Westbrook is such a big threat driving to the rim, that's why people leave him wide open for three sometimes. That's terrible defense by me, but let's see if we can answer back before he even sets his defense. Look who's open. It's Sabonis. From downtown, he hits it. Russell Westbrook has it up top. The lane's wide open, so I'm spinning, pulling up, and hitting the mid-range shot. We had so much space right there, I had to pull it again. Let's get one more bucket to end the first quarter. The lane's wide open for Russ. He throws it down over Donovan Mitchell, and just like that, 
our lead is back up to six. That should do it for the first quarter. Kemp puts it up, and he misses. Solid first quarter. I love the way we're shooting so far, but the reason why this game is still close is because we're making silly mistakes, like giving up offensive rebounds, throwing silly turnovers. It's a tie game in the second quarter, but we could get separation if we just clean up our mistakes. Donovan drives in and gets the easy two. Let's run some pick and roll with Sabonis and Mitchell. Mitchell with another easy layup on back-to-back -back possessions. Not my best quarter, but we're only down by three, so if we just start getting more stops, if we stop giving up so many offensive boards, then we should be fine. We should be able to get separation. He drives in and throws it down like I'm not even there. It's like my defense didn't even matter right there. Even though I was in the perfect position, he just got the easy two and he gets another one right there. This guy's driving to the rim like crazy, attacking the basket like a madman. So if we just prevent him from getting to the basket, we should be okay. But my gosh, he's making it look too easy right now. Another nice drive, another layup by Donovan. He's got 13 points off the bench. He's really been going off. I mean, really, my entire team team's been playing so well on offense, we just gotta get stops. I mean, our defense was so good in the first half, but all of a sudden, we can't get a stop. At least we're still scoring, but we gotta get a stop. We're right there with Donovan, he passes to the corner, good defense by Pippen. He spins, he goes up, and he misses. He gets the rebound though, gosh, I mentioned that in the first half, we're giving up so many offensive rebounds. I feel like that's a pretty common problem that happens to everybody, but it still sucks. Right now, we're actually in a pretty good position. It's our ball to begin the fourth quarter so if we can end this quarter either tied or in the lead that would be huge nice stop on defense the bonus is right by the rim and he throws it down for the tie one more stop on defense would be absolutely huge i don't think we're gonna get the chance to score one more time but let's see why is he wide open why is kemp wide open are you kidding me what are my cpus doing on defense did they just get confused I have no idea, but maybe I gotta start playing more off-ball defense, because how did that happen? That was a terrible way to end the third quarter, but we're still only down by three, so it's not like this game's over. We still have a shot to win, as Westbrook throws it down. It's just, that was the most random defensive breakdown ever, when we needed to get a stop the most. Thankfully, we get the stop right here. Westbrook has a run out. I don't know if I want to shoot it, so let's pass out to Pippen. Back to Westbrook. Now to Sabonis for the lead. All right, we're back in front. Now let's just keep on playing defense, contesting shots, and hopefully getting the rebounds. He's zigzagging back and forth with Curry, but we're right there. He passes out to Oladipo. Back to Curry. Drives to the rim. Look at this defense we're playing. Hopefully he doesn't get an open shot. He should miss that. And then, of course, he gets the offensive rebound. God. I shouldn't have jumped, but we're giving up way too many second chances. Second chance points are the main reason why this game is so close. How'd that pass get through? We get the stop, but how the heck did that pass get through? Pippen has it, the lane's wide open, Drexler drives, and he throws it down. We're back in front again. Come on, man. Less than three minutes left. We can test the shot. We get the stop. And a bucket right here would be absolutely huge. Wally Serbiak from the corner, and we have team takeover. This game has definitely been frustrating, but we have momentum now. We have team takeover. The lane's wide open. Nice pass to Sabonis. He jumps, and we get another easy layup. There's absolutely no need to rush. The lane's wide open, he's double teaming, leaving Serpiak open for another three. He misses, but big rebound by Sabonis. Finally, we get an offensive rebound bucket of our own. He calls the pick and roll, he shoots with Iverson, that's off. Great defense. That should do it for this game. This game should be in the bag. Serpiak lays it up and in. We have a three-point lead, 10 seconds left. All we need is one stop on defense. We're right there. We can test the shot. And that's going to do it for this game. Three-point win on the road in a hostile environment to begin this video 2-0. and oh. I feel like that game was way closer than it should have been, but my star players came through. 18 for Mitchell off the bench, 17-11 for Sabonis, and 16-7 and for Russ. Great game, great win. Sadly, that's not enough for James Worthy. We're literally 53 points away from the centerpiece. But it's no big deal. We're officially one game away, win or lose, from getting that centerpiece. So let's lock in and let's do this one more time. Once this game's over, James Worthy is ours. And this should be a pretty interesting game. This guy's got Andrew Wiggins, Giannis, Danny Green, Donovan Mitchell. This might be the worst team we've played against in this video. But that doesn't mean this is a guaranteed win. That doesn't mean this is an easy matchup. I've said this before and I'll say it again. You don't need a full pink 
Diamond or Galaxy Opal team to be good at the game, you just need IQ. If you know how to play good defense and time your shots, then you're gonna win so many games, even if you have an Amethyst Diamond team, I think you're gonna be okay. Let's run the fast break pass to Drexler, go baseline, spin, pass out to Hayward. I want the three, but I guess we'll take that mid-range shot too. Clyde Drexler has it again. Nice pass to Pippen for another easy two. Now let's keep on scoring. This guy's got Ben Wallace in the game with Anthony Simons. Sabonis is right by the basket, so we're going straight up. We're getting so many easy twos, but I'm trying to shoot threes. I guess we'll take that dunk. But the reason why this game is so close right now is because we're going back and forth exchanging twos. I'm I mean, I'll take what the defense gives me, but I love shooting threes. Either way, we're still doing all right. We have a two point lead, so we could be doing worse. We just gotta pull away. Just like last game, all this guy is really doing is just trying to get to the rim, get easy layups. So as long as we prevent that, we're gonna be okay. At the same time though, I feel like that's how everybody plays. All they do is drive to the rim. They don't really prioritize shooting. And yeah, getting to the rim and making layups and dunks is a lot easier than hitting threes. So I understand. It. But it's just so frustrating because scoring in the paint is pretty much impossible to stop as he misses that three But yeah, as I was saying it feels like everybody I play against either drives to the rim the entire game or posts up the entire game It's just not fun to play against so even though I'm playing well this season even though I'm winning games Man, it gets frustrating playing versus guys who just do the exact same thing every time and then right there Why did Gordon Hayward leave the corner open right there? We did such a good job preventing the drive to the rim, preventing the two-point shot, but then my defense completely collapsed and we gave up a wide open three. That just makes no sense, but it's all good. Let's keep on guarding the pick and roll. Elgalskis drives to the rim. And once again, I thought I was right there, but it's like my defense doesn't even matter. Like I said earlier, you don't even need a good team. This guy knows how to play defense. He knows how to score. He knows that all you have to do is get right by the basket and hold down the X button. Come on, man. We got to get a stop. Shot clock's running down. I know what he's doing. He's calling pick and roll over and over again. Once again, he gets to the basket. Thankfully, this time he misses. At halftime, we trail by four. I'm honestly not even surprised. We got to play better interior defense if we're gonna win this game so that's my focus to begin the second half we're guarding this guy just fine on the perimeter we're not giving up any open looks but my gosh he's killing me in the paint nice drive by Mitchell Matumbo throws it down and we're only down by one we're playing better defense to begin the second half we're right there with Mitchell I know he's trying to drive with Rozier and we pick off the pass we could retake the lead right here but let's take our time let's slow things down Pass out to Pippen for three, and that should do it. We're finally back in front. This is now the second straight game where we're down. We probably shouldn't be down, but then we turn things around in the second half. Notice how all this guy's doing is just attacking the rim over and over and over. I understand why he's doing it because it's so hard to stop, but my gosh, it gets so annoying to guard. Here comes the pick and roll. Simons has it. He drives to the rim, and Matumbo locks him up in the paint. Our defense this half has been so much better. Scotty Pippen fires for three and he hits it again. Look at us go. Fourth quarter now, tie game, our ball to start the quarter off. We have a one-on-one, -on -one, Sabonis versus Ben Wallace. You know what? Let's pass out. I don't want to take any dumb shots in the paint. I want to take smart shots like this with Sabonis from downtown. Let's keep up the offense. Nice slip to the rim by Sabonis for the slam. We're doing great things to begin the fourth quarter. We're just a few stops on defense and a few scores away from putting a dagger in this game, but this guy's pretty good. He knows what he's doing. We're right there with Sabonis and this guy is just passing it around. We're playing good defense, but I wouldn't be surprised if he finds a way to get open. We're right there. He goes up and nice rejection by Sabonis. We throw it ahead to Drexler, who's cutting back door again for the slam. Big start to the fourth quarter. Great defense and we're getting easy buckets. We're right there with Drexler and Sabonis and we pick off the pass. There's absolutely no need to rush. Nice pass to Hayward. Another nice pass to Sabonis. Wow, what a beautiful play. Hayward was driving to the rim, he got the curl going around the screen, and then the entire defense collapsed and we got the easy mid-range shot. Donovan misses the layup, but hey, we have a pretty good lead, and even if he does make both free throws, we have momentum. It's a two possession game, less than 50 seconds left, let's run the exact same play for Gordon Hayward. Let's just run the clock out and see if I can get another good shot right here. Let's set things up, 
Pass out to Drexler, pass to Sabonis for another mid-range shot. Back-to-back -back huge buckets from Sabonis. Dare I say daggers? I think those are daggers, man. This guy doesn't have enough time. He might go for a two right here, but he needs threes. Great defense, and he knocks one down. All we gotta do is hold the ball. I don't think he's fouling. I'm just gonna fire this up with Sabonis, and yeah, that's another win on the road in a hostile environment. I know it was a close game, but you guys know a win is a win. And not only was that a big win on the road in a hostile environment, but it was the last win we needed for this centerpiece exchange. So let's get that Lakers championship trophy right now. And now that we got that centerpiece, ladies and gentlemen, we're locking in for big game James, pink diamond James Worthy. Like I said earlier, I can definitely see James Worthy stepping in as my starting small forward over Gordon Hayward. I know Gordon Hayward's pretty good. I know he's played pretty well this video, but I've heard James Worthy is even better than he is. Gordon, don't worry. You're still a beast and you still have a spot on this team, but this video is all about about big game James. James Worthy is a six foot nine forward from North Carolina with 99 offense and 93 defense. He's got a 90 mid range shot, 83 three point shot, and a 90 driving dunk. He has a 79 ball handle and some pretty decent defense 82 block, 80 steal, 85 perimeter, and 85 interior. And best of all, he's got 90 speed, 90 acceleration, 93 stamina. He's gonna be an amazing athlete. And he's also got a a bunch of Hall of Fame badges including Acrobat, Bully, Fast Twitch, Fearless Finisher, Post Spin Technician, Claymore, and Pogo Stick. He has so many good post scoring and finishing badges like Dream Shake, Drop Stepper, Limitless, Masher, Rise Up, and then he's also got Catch and Shoot, Green Machine, Bailout, Challenger. He's got great badges all across the board, offensively, defensively, finishing, passing, shooting. I can already tell this card's gonna be so much fun, but before we play unlimited again we gotta jump into shoot around we gotta test out his jump shot and from the look of things it's pretty smooth it's quick he releases it at the very top of his jump, which you guys know I love. And it looks like he's got hot zones pretty much everywhere except the three-point line, which kind of sucks, but it's understandable. Even without those three-point hot zones, he still has such a nice shot that is super easy to green. He has an 83 three-point rating, so with the right coach, that rating goes up to a 88. And if you give him a shoe, it goes up to a 92. He's also got Claymore and Catch and Shoot. He's got a 90 driving dunk, but most importantly, he's six foot nine and he has masher, he has drop stepper, he has post spin technician, he has so many good post scoring badges. So I feel like even though James Worthy has a really nice jump shot, even though he can hit threes and mid range shots and play good defense and dunk, I feel like he's going to be a really, really good masher. Six foot nine, small forward. He's even taller than Gordon Hayward. I think he's going to be a beast. So with all that being said, let's go online and let's try out big game James. I'm not going to lie though. Those unlimited games we played earlier were so sweaty, so I kind of don't feel like playing unlimited. But at the same time, we got to test out big game James. So let's play one unlimited game and then one triple threat or clutch time game and then we'll call it a night. Big game. Game James debut. It's time. We're playing versus Derrick Rose, Jimmy Butler, Scottie Pippen, Sean Kemp, and Big Z. That's such a good team, but I think we're gonna be alright. I think we're ready for battle after those tough games earlier. Just like everybody else we've played against this video, this guy is just attacking the basket every single time. So if we can just stop this guy from attacking the basket, I think we're gonna be okay. Now let's give the ball to James Worthy. He's being guarded by Scottie Pippen, and we're gonna mash. Oh yeah, that was way too easy. He goes up and lays it in. Like I said earlier, I know James Worthy can shoot. I know he can defend. He's got a 90 driving dunk. He's gonna be good at so many things, but we gotta try him out mashing. Like I said earlier, I know James Worthy can shoot. I know he's got a good driving dunk. I know he can defend, but we gotta mash with him as much as possible because he's got so many good post scoring badges. So let's post up James Worthy again. Let's use that masher badge. Let's get right by the basket. Let's get right there. Even though Sean Kemp's a great defender, we're going up again for another easy two. We could probably mash every single time, but let's get the rest of my team involved because we're losing right now. I don't want to lose this game, so let's take smart shots. There's no need to run the offense through just one guy. So even though James 
Worthy's two for two from the field, make that three for three, there's no need to force it to him every single time. Let's get a stop on defense. We're right there on Rose. He takes a tough shot and we get the rebound. Can we get one more shot to end the first quarter? Yes, we can. Great drive by Westbrook and dish to Pippen. Come on, we got to get a stop. He catches the ball, he's not gonna get a shot. That's gonna do it for the first quarter where we're only down by three. We got ourselves another super close game versus another pretty good player, but I think we're gonna be all right. Nice drive by Russ and the slam. Offensively, we're looking so good. Defensively, this guy is mashing my head in, getting right to the basket, driving in over and over. It's not easy to stop, but it's a tie game. We're right there on defense. Nice block by James Worthy and he gets the rebound. Good defense by James James and we have a chance to retake the lead. Nice backdoor cut and slam by Sabonis. He's going off as usual. We've figured this guy out. We're playing such good defense. We can test that shot. There's no way he makes that another rebound for James. I gotta shout out James Worthy for playing such good defense. So let's give him the ball right here in the post. He's being guarded by Pippen again, but he's getting very tired. Can we still score? The answer is yes. James Worthy's not shooting much in his debut, but he's still doing all the little things and he's playing pretty well overall. We have this guy's offense pretty much figured out. He's just doing the exact same thing that everybody else is doing as Mitchell throws it down. We just gotta prevent him from getting to the rim. Let's see if I can get a bucket right here with Igadala. He leaves the baseline open and we get another easy two. Once again, we bounce back from a rough start. He goes around the pick, passes out to Kemp. We're right there on defense. He might take it to the middle. We're right there with Sabonis and we get the steal. We're looking good on defense. I think somebody's open. It's Pippen from way downtown. He's not missing that. This guy's not a bad player. He's got a pretty good team, but we're doing our thing right now. Let's hold the ball and see if we can get a good shot. Nice drive by Donovan. I could have passed out to Sabonis, but I guess we'll take the dunk too. That was a really good first half. I know we were down pretty bad in the first quarter, but we've come back, turned this game around, and taken a nine point lead. It's our ball to begin the second half, so let's keep on getting buckets and let's pull away. This guy must have put down his control because he didn't even move right there. Let's keep the offense rolling. Pass out to Sabonis. He hits another jumper. We've only missed four shots this entire game. I think that goes to show how efficient we've been. We've also played such good defense, especially after the first quarter. This guy is just running pick and roll, posting up. I knew he was driving in right there, and we get the rebound. It's fast break time again. Let's give it to Hayward, and let's get right to the rim. We're on a roll, man. We're looking great on both ends, not giving up anything too easy, and we're getting such good shots too. Sabonis snatches back. He fires, and he can't miss. He's got 20 points. So bonus, this is not your gameplay. This is a James Worthy video, so you gotta stop going off. He gets a steal. Okay, so bonus' gameplay is officially over. He's down on the floor. He got injured after shooting a three, so I guess it's time to sub James Worthy back in. James, it's your lucky day. Our star player just went down with an injury, so it's time to run the offense through you. Eventually, let's get this dunk first with Igadala. All right, James, do your thing. The lane's wide open. Nice move. Nice drive. Nice slam. Wow, that was actually a pretty nice combo. He got straight past Jared Vanderbilt, got to the rim, and threw it down. All right, James. Let's run that pick and fade. Let's fire the three, and let's knock it down from deep. Okay, James, you're doing your thing right now. We're showing off the jump shot. We're getting to the rim. We're playing good defense, and we lead by 18. All things considered, James Worthy's having a really good debut. Let's give it back to Worthy for even more mashing. He's being guarded by Andrew Wiggins, who's not a bad defender, but what's he gonna do about this? What's he gonna do about big game James? Let's see if I can post up again. Let's mash him again. Actually, nah, we gotta throw that pass. What a slam by Matumbo! I was trying to get two points with James Worthy, but man, that was a beautiful cut back door, a beautiful pass, and a big time jam. James Worthy has takeover now, so let's see if I can get him a bucket right here. In the corner, 4-3, he hits it. So James Worthy can mash, 
he can also hit threes. He's very tired, but he's still playing so well. Nice pass to Larry Johnson. He misses, but Matumbo cleans it up. Very good debut for James Worthy, though. He's got 20 points, 4 rebounds, 3 assists, and we're gonna get this win. Very easy win versus another very good team on the road in that hostile environment. I gotta stop saying that. James Worthy played well, but overall, this was just a great team win. We shot well from the field. We shot well from three. We got more assists more rebounds, all that stuff. And with that win, we're moving on to the Emerald tier. Once again, we'll take that 5,000 MT. We're now 28 and 4, plus we're 4 and 0 oh this video, so we've played very well in Unlimited. We have two super easy wins and two down to the wire close wins, so I feel like now is a pretty good time to stop playing Unlimited. However, this video is not over. Let's play Triple Threat Online with James Worthy. This team right here is OP, man. Clyde Drexler is my team's shortest player and he is six foot seven so we have six seven drexler six nine james worthy and six nine scotty pippen this is gonna be a lot of fun and i'm ready to go off with big game james here we go in tto it looks like we got ourselves a pretty easy matchup this guy's got xavier mcdaniel nikola Jokic, and david robinson i know that david robinson's not bad and neither is Jokic, but we should have a field day against this team let's give the ball to james and let's go to work. Let's snatch back, fake the drive, snatch back again, pull up for mid-range, and hit it. Since this guy's got the taller team, he might drive to the rim and get a bunch of easy twos, but we're gonna outscore him for sure. Another fast break, James Worthy's open, he fires and he hits it again. Three jump shots already for James, and we'll probably get another one right here. James Worthy has the ball. This guy's actually off-balling, so let's run past D-Rob and let's throw it down. This guy's done guarding James Worthy on the ball, which is understandable because he's very good. Now David Robinson's right by the rim and we force the miss. Fast break, let's give it to Pippen. And since I wanna win, let's take smart shots. 14-10, we have numbers. Let's fire another three with big game James. He's really showing off the range in this game. In Unlimited, we were mainly mashing, driving to the rim, playing defense, passing, but we're really getting to show off the jump shot in this game. Let's see if I can draw the defense and get another three. James Worthy is on fire, man. He has takeover and we have a double digit lead. I told you guys this was gonna be an easy win. Let's win this game right here. James Worthy from nearly half court hits it and we get another win. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like that shot and that win is just a perfect way to end this video. James Worthy played really well. We got so many wins and I think I understand why so many people say James Worthy is one of the best small forwards in the game. However, this might be a very bold statement. I don't think he's better than Gordon Hayward. So for now, I think I gotta keep Gordon Hayward as my starting small forward, but James Worthy is a more than sufficient backup who's six foot nine, shoots the ball well, plays pretty good defense, but overall, I think even though Gordon Hayward is not as good on defense, he's still very good defensively while being better at shooting the ball, better offensively. So feel free to disagree, but I'm gonna bring James Worthy off the bench, and granted, he's gonna get plenty of minutes off the bench as my team's backup small forward or power forward, but I don't know, I think. I prefer Gordon Hayward. Either way, finishing up this trophy case for the Lakers is a massive dub, and that is now seven trophy cases complete, and we're actually getting super close to finishing up the Phoenix Suns trophy case. All we need is the centerpiece and the elite franchise moment, and then for the LA Clippers, we only need a historic pennant, elite franchise moment, centerpiece, and whatever this card is. So yeah, we got Galaxy Opal Clyde Drexler, and we're getting close to getting Galaxy Opal Anthony Davis. All we need now is Steve Nash, Elton Brand, and Peja Stojakovic. So yeah, we made some pretty good progress towards Davis in this video, and I think this is a perfect place to end the video. So yeah, guys, if you made it all the way to the end of this video and you're still watching right now, then huge shout out to you. Thank you so much for watching, and I really hope you enjoyed it. If you really did enjoy this video, then show me by dropping a like if you haven't already, and if you want to see more content, more videos just like this in the future, 
here, then make sure you subscribe to my channel. I've been having a great time recording, editing, and posting these no money spent videos, and y'all have been showing so much love on them, so thank you guys so much for that, and if you never want to miss an upload, make sure you turn on notifications. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, drop a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you haven't already, and of course, show some love in the comments if you're still watching right now. So yeah, I think I've said everything I need to say. One more time, thank you guys so much for watching. Y'all stay chill, stay safe, and I'll see y'all again real soon.